purple, the color of drug overdose awareness adorns the car. Fernanda Sanchez is remembering her fiance, Curtis Tablotny. He proposed to her in Whistler, but a wedding never happened. In 2022, he died of a drug overdose. He broke my heart so much. It's so hard, believe me, because he went my old, my best friend, my boyfriend, and uh, he went so nice guy. It's one of several cars taking place in an event in Richmond called Drive to Destigmatize. With his brother behind the wheel, Curtis's old car has a new look to help bring awareness to the toxic drug crisis. The majority of people that are dying right now are dying in their homes. They're not unhoused individuals, and they're not necessarily middle. Uh, uh, mentally ill. People go out, people party, people do drugs. We have to get over that. That's part of destigmatizing. Lisa Y from Moms Stop the Harm is here for her daughter. Renee was bright, wanted a family, and always wanted to get better. She lost her life in 2020 to the toxic drug supply. She was 29 years old. We know how to save lives. We know that if we supply safe pharmaceutical grade drugs to people, it will save their lives and give them a chance to reach recovery. My daughter, she would have gotten there, but her, her, she ran out of time. They chose this day for the drive because it was eight years ago when the toxic drug crisis was declared a public health emergency. They hope the parade of purple will help change the way people talk about drug use and help in the stigma for those who use drugs. Grace Key, Global News.